how's it going everyone this is train a car and i have for you the introduction to the international championship league aka the icl this is a pokemon battling league that i'm part of thanks to the rude leaf storm who was my last opponent in my last wi-fi battle video if you have not seen that wi-fi battle go check it out but uh yeah, so me and Garud are part of the ICL. It's a nice change of pace. I was part of the Indigo League of Legends for a bit, but now I wasn't really all that interested in the ILL because it's not that organized per se. So I decided to join in on this league, and I am really happy about it. So this should be interesting. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you the rules and my draft picks. If you look at the screen here, I am Connor and the San Francisco Swamperts. So the rules are you can allow three OU Pokemon, three UU Pokemon, three RU Pokemon, and three NU Pokemon. No Ubers are allowed in this tournament. So this makes things a lot more interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, you know, because in the Indigo League of Legends, yeah, you got, like, Ubers, and then it's, like, really intense because you have, you have Ubers, and then, uh, now in this league, you don't have Ubers. So, I guess that makes things a little bit more balanced in terms of power and, uh, defense a little bit there. Okay, so, uh, before we get started on the draft, on my uh, side here, we got other opponents as well, so let's go over Garou a little bit. Uh, he's got Raikou, Tornado, Syrian Form, Jancy, Fortress, Arcanine, Mega, Absol, Kangrowth, Sloking, Deoxy, Miss Magus, Weezing, and Sock. Really interesting team there for the averting uh, as elves and then we have gambling gambling is of course the coach of the indianapolis thunderbolts he's got manifi garchomp mega mechan forges mammo swine rotom heat trevenant ambi palm drapion mankind magmortar and taurus super nelly has uh mega altaria scissor Gengar, Melodic, Heliolisk, Crocodile, Typhlosion, Sneasel, Hitmonlee, Quagsire, Jinx, and Shiftry. That's the Los Angeles Slowking. And then Mike HP, who has a very hard name. I, I can't read it. It's in a weird font that I can't read it. So, uh, Mike has Mew, Mega Venusaur, Sylveon, Suicune, Darmanican, Zapdos, Kyvanterum, Smeargle, Sinchino, Golurk, Pinsir, and Omastar. Edgy. Edgy, the Hell's Kitchen Heracross, has Dragon, Dragonite, uh, Ferrothorn, Azumarill, Snorlax, Heracross, Mega Beagrill, Spirit Tomb, Braviary, Aerodactyl, Shigunja, Ninjask, and Torkoal. So that's a, a really interesting team there. I am looking forward to battling him. Uh, Finley, the Toronto Kepids, has got Mega Gardevoir, Heatran, Rotom Washform, Galvantula, Nigo King, Reaclus, Sharpigo, Hitmontop, Gastagon, Ogino, Skunk Tank, and Lilligant. Jesse, aka the Atlanta Braviary, has Vic Kingy, Kieran B, Kieran Black, that is, and then Weavile, Feraligator, Mega Ampharos, Cobalion, Electros, Embor, Magneton, Scyther, Pelipper, and Huntail. And he's actually my first round opponent, so that should be really, really interesting. Uh, WMR, the Miami, the Miami Infernapes, I can talk, ugh, Mega Charizard X, Langarus, Therian Form, Klefki, Vaporeon, Greninja, and Torrent ability there, not 
his other ability because that's overpowered. So we have regular Greninja with Torrent, and then Alakazam, Golbat, Jolteon, Doug Trio, Rotom, regular form, Pile of Swine, and Sceptile. Maranoch, aka the Lexington Larvitars, Excadrill, Celebi, Volcarona, Mega Gyarados, Gardevoir, Hasteris, Rotom, Cut form, Alomomola, Hoopa, Garbogar, Lantern, and Pyroar. And of course, your San Francisco Swampers. I've got myself Talonflame, Clefable, Mega Electric, Swampert, Obviously, Cossacroak, Shaman, Registeel, Dragon, Exploud, Lipard, Duskinor, and Leavani. Alright, let me uh, move a little bit over to the right a little bit here so we can look at the other opponents. We've got Flamong, the St. Alban Swalox, Togekiss, Jirachi, Mega Sable, Sableye, wow, uh, Mian Shao, Don Fan, Cresselia, Scrafty, Cofagrigus, Bronzong, Crustle, Clean Clang, it's misspelled there, but whatever, Clean Clang, and uh, Malamar. And then last but not least, we have Slow, aka the Chicago Ursa Rings, Superior, Mega Lachios, Conkilder, Crobat, NK, Doblade, Seismitoad, Gramble, Acelgor, Milkank, Electivire, and Cryogonal. So those are your opponent, the, the opponents for the first season of the ICL. Now to explain my picks, I picked Talonflame because, I, you know what, you know, like, Talonflame, I did so well with him in one of the seasons of the ILL, the Indigo League of Legends. And I picked Clefable next. I really wanted a fairy type, and when, like, for instance, you've got, uh, you've got, who got, uh, I'm trying to figure out, oh yeah, Sylveon, Azumarill, and I guess Mega Gargavor, they're all chosen, so I had to pick Clefable as my fairy. Uh, we only bring one Mega to every battle, and my choice was originally um, Mega Mega Sham, but someone sniped me, and that wasn't too good there. I chose Mega Manetric, and that was also a great pick because um, it has it has access to not only Lightning Rod, but when you Mega Evolve, it has Intimidate. So if I predict correctly, I can switch into an Electric type move get that special attack boost, and then Mega Evolve, and then cut down the opponent's attack with the Inkidame ability. I really like that pick. Now if you realize that Talonflame, Mega, Mega Manetric, and Clefable make a good core, but I also wanted Swampert, because Swampert and Talonflame and Mega Manetric makes it even better. Uh, Swampert as my mascot, of course. Uh, I don't know if I can go Mega or not, but... Um, We'll see. I mean, if I, if I don't get a chance to Mega Evolve with it, that's totally fine. Uh, Swampert has access to Rain Dance. I can uh, use it without the uh, ability that Mega Swampert can get, but, you know, uh, we can use Stealth Ox with it, we can use Bang, we could go Scarf, but why would you? Uh, it's a really interesting option there. Uh, you can go Defensive, like I said. So we've got options for Swampert. I need a, a Poison type, so I chose Toxic Croak. Not only for priority as well, it has access to Sucker Punch and Poison Jab and then Fighting Type Stab. That is a great pick there. And then I noticed that there was a lot of uh, people that shows like a lot of water types. So I was like, let's get Shaman because Shaman has Sea Flare to hit all those grass and ground type Pokemon. Uh, and it also has access to Earth Power and Psychic for coverage. Uh, I chose Registeel because I have a fairy, but I realize, okay, fairy is weak to steel, so I need a steel type to resist the steel type moves. So I chose Reggie Steel for that pick there. And I also want to complete that core with Dragon as my dragon. Uh, all the other dragons, like Hasteris and Salamence, they're all chosen. 
getting sniped like that. That is not cool. So I chose Dragon because I haven't, I haven't used a Dragon all that much. So it's really interesting there. Uh, Exploud, Lipard, and Duskinor, and Riavani. Those are the lower class Pokemon. I chose Exploud because I, I honestly didn't know what I could pick at that point. And everybody was like, pick Exploud, it's really good. So we're going to use Exploud. I don't think I, I don't think I've used one before, so that should be really cool. And then Lipard is another Pokemon I haven't used before. It has access to U-Turn, Knock Off, Thunder Wave, and, uh, some other options there. And then Duskinor, I recently trained up with Duskinor, so I am really excited to use him. It has access to being a choice band user, uh, a defensive pivot with Will-O-Wisp to burn things, and all that. And last but not least, we have Riavani. Riavani is a really a powerful Pokemon if you use it right, and I hope I use it right. My first weak opponent is against the Atlanta Brave Fury. He's got Vikini, Karen Black, Revile, for Alligator, Mega, and Feral Scobellion, Electros, Embora, Magneton, Scyther, and Pelipper, and Huntail. Uh, I will post a week one analysis so that way I can, you know, go really deep. I, I can go real deep with the analysis in my analysis video with my first round opponent. Uh, but not in this video. I just wanted to take this as a introduction to the league and what my draft picks were. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Hope you guys find this video really interesting. Uh, it should be really fun being part of the ICL. Uh, I will post my week one analysis here shortly, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you then. Alright, goodbye, Chinese. Have a great day.